What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Maya's World, and it has been leaked right now. Byron Jones is gonna be the ultimate kickoff master in the game, so you guys have to do a lot of different things. I'm gonna go down through some of the things that will probably help you guys in getting ready to go right now. Uh, pretty much a lot of the cornerbacks, like Asante Samuel, stuff like that, they should maintain their value because you can chem them up pretty nice, but somebody's gonna take a hit because the game is all based off of man-to-man -man coverage, um, it's completely OP, dime 146, cover one robber, and the rest is history, right? So pretty much, let me just go through some things that I've done. You can see that Dan Marino has now been removed effective immediately from his post. We have gone back to Lamar Jackson. Um, we did have Tyran Matthew, and we had to raid sell him too, because I realized something, right? The zone factors are not that important right now, unless, unless, hear me out, your opponent is running a lot of tight formations, right? So the tight formations causes a lot of problems with the zones. So you may have issues with that. That is the only situation where it becomes a situation of utilizing somebody with zone. Other than that, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? So right here, okay, these are the stuff that I bought, right? This is the buy now price. What is this? Is it, is it gonna show me the newest? I don't know what this is. Hold on, where, where are we at right here? Newest, what did we do? Okay, we bought Lamar Jackson back and we had to buy a couple things to get some sets done. My auctions over here, I just want to give you guys a heads up of what's going on. Tyran Matthew raid sold and uh, Dan Marino raid sold. Now, I raid sold him after I knew that, um, you know, Byron Jones would be the master for ultimate kickoff. So, you know, we were in the stream when, you know, people were talking about it. And that pretty much, you know, you know, I, I knew he was gone simply because we figured out that we're just going to run the meta and just run man-to-man -man coverage and not care anymore. And I suggest that you guys do the same. If you want to think that it matters about running zone and that zones work and you want to use mid zone KO and waste your training, you can go ahead and do that. But what I would recommend if you want to win more games, especially on the brink of weekend league, I would recommend that you guys start focusing on man coverage. All right. So I showed you guys that real quick. Lamar Jackson is now the QB again. Uh, we do have um, the defensive players that are currently on the squad right now that took over. We do have Minka Fitzpatrick, which, you know, I got him primarily for zone but we might have to do something with him. But like I said, sometimes I do need zone coverage. All right, if you're playing somebody that comes out in tight flex and they're beating you with crossers, you can set your defensive adjustments to have those zones float back 25 yards and always pick it off. So those will be better in those cases to have like a Minka Fitzpatrick. But Trey Waynes, you know, AJ Terrell, these guys are very, very key. Why? Because they're so fast, all right? So if you have team builders, you need to do nothing right now. There is absolutely nothing that you need to do. But if you have more expensive corners and you're gonna wanna go along the meta ride that EA is putting us on, you may want to consider looking at some of the attributes and going through it and making sure that you're satisfied with the players. Or if not for anything else, start selling players now to get a little bit of your coins up. Cause you can see I'm at 277K because I raid sold Tyran Matthew. He's gonna be pretty much a guy that once you guys go along the lines of where I am with it, where it's just like, all right, I'm playing zone and nobody is doing anything, you're gonna to wanna to make some different plays, all right? So, as far as the team builders go, they are probably gonna, with the exception of Isaiah Simmons, he's gonna stay hovering around 300K. And let me explain to you guys why. Regardless of the man-to-man -man coverage that he has, it doesn't matter. He should always primarily be your user. Let me go ahead and give you the bigger screen so that way you can see what's going on with it. He comes with a built-in lurker. So he's jumping up and picking everything that's in the, like he's wild, right? So he's not a guy that I'm gonna have out there just man to man going crazy. That doesn't make any sense. Also, when it comes to the man to man segment of, you know, just changing your defense up and some of you guys are gonna probably have more questions for me, like, you know, what's up with the press and stuff like that. That is also very, very interesting, but it's not something that we really need to worry about because I'm not pressing with a lot of these players. I'm playing off in man just so that they run with them everywhere they go. Now, when people come out and they hit you with crossers and they're motioning guys and they're absolute weenies from Weenie Hut Jr., stuff like that that goes on in the game, you're gonna have to have better user, okay? But I'm just pointing this stuff out, 6'4", 90 speed, it is ridiculous. Okay, this is really, really good stuff right here. So I just wanna make sure that you guys understand. Whatever happens to his card, he's still always gonna be up there in price until he gets another card. You know, maybe they give him a power up later on, but that guy I would not consider selling, 
okay? Because some of you guys were asking, you know, what about Isaiah Simmons? Should we get rid of him? No, he's off limits. Do not sell him. That is a bad thing to do. Everybody else though, including Atwater, you see what I'm saying? Like Atwater right now with the way that it is, let me just go ahead and give you guys some insight into it. The only reason that he's there is because he gets enforcer. Now I know, I know Bob Sanders also gets enforcer. Um, I think one of the middle linebackers, uh, Takeo Spike something gets enforcer. Um, he's not really that guy with man-to-man -man coverage. Obviously he's a 77. He doesn't have good press because he's a safety. They don't usually give good press to safeties unless, you know, maybe it's like um, Ronnie Lott because he actually played corner in his career and made the Pro Bowl, by the way, but he always gyps him with his man-to-man -man coverage. That's neither here nor there. But he's good to have on the squad because he's gonna knock somebody's block off. Now, one of the other things that a lot of people are doing, they're getting other man-to-man -man corners to play the safety position. Just so that when you come out running man, you're not really getting beat. The reason that I'm pointing all this stuff out to you guys is because they're gonna have to give Byron Jones a pretty decent press. He'll have mediocre man coverage. They tried to give him high zone, but he's always around that kind of hybrid corner that does, you know, he does a lot of things pretty decent. He's not really, really good at one thing. Um, obviously he sucks for the Cowboys, which is why they let him go, but that's not what this is about, Cowboy fans. We're talking about the fact that he may be able to replace one of the cards that you already have and just make your team better. Now look, I wanna show you guys a few things when it comes to comparing uh, some of these cards, right? The man coverage on Tredavious White is 85. So he's a guy that we could probably go after and put him into the lineup, right? AJ Terrell, he's more of a zone corner. So that's a major issue right there, right? When you look at this right here, um, with the actual, tr like Trey Wayne, 79 man coverage, okay? Um, let's go through some, okay, Fink, Minka Fitzpatrick, 81. So he can actually play, you know, play pretty decent, but he doesn't have the press, okay? That 83 press, that 85 man coverage, that's pretty decent. We could power up Rod Woodson also uh, and watch and see if his price drops, but you know, that's pretty much what, what we're gonna be focusing on for now. I wanna make sure that everybody understands that because that's the, and the reason that I have two Nats is because I completed the set twice uh, for uh, Lamar Jackson. Just so in case you guys ask, yo, why do you got two Tredavious Whites? They're Nat cards. But that's why people have these cards on their team, okay? It is the complete meta. It's something that they're going to do and continue to do. So if you wanna be a boss and you wanna win a lot of games going forward, those are some of the things you're gonna have to look forward to. So for me right now, it doesn't really matter what I do. I can't really gain anything. It's nothing I can gain from this because my team is already set where I got minimal players, but you guys with Team Diamonds, you may wanna take a look at that and get your coins now and go after Byron Jones because being the master, EA Sports is going to give him some things that's going to make him worth it as a master. All right, so that's very, very huge. And that's something that you guys should definitely uh, look out for with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna start looking through some of the other cards that are in the game and we're gonna start focusing on certain things, certain attributes and building our team differently so that way when we go forward with it, we kind of understand what's happening, all right? Obviously, once the promo drops, I'm gonna give you guys another video explaining to you guys, you know, what's free, what's going on, because EA is gonna always give us something like that. But you can, for now, start to take a look at the, you know, decent, decent corners, like 86 to 87s. You can start to take a look at those guys um, and see what you come up with. All right, see what you come up with as far as man coverage. Start to look through it and start to gauge it based on man. So for instance, Richard Sherman would do nothing for us. This guy would be decent for us, right? Because he's a man-to-man -man corner and then you're gonna have to go through it. He's a slot corner. Certain things like this, this is what's going to change the game. And if you do have those diamond cards, those can be very, very um, you know, useful. Obviously they're lockup, whatever. But this guy, like, like Frank, Min uh, what is it, Frank Minifield? He's also a decent man-to-man -man corner. The problem with him is that 86 speed, when you power him up, 87, what, well, he'd probably go to like an 88, because you know they all go to 90, the team diamonds. But that man coverage at 88 is wild. And then he has also, I believe he has a decent press. He had 87. So he would be pretty good to have on your squad. The only problem is he's 5'9". You know what I'm saying? So that's what I would like you guys to start doing now. I'm gonna go more in depth into what we actually have to do. Guys like Stefan Gilmore, you know, he's real, like, I, I don't like his speed. You know, he's man to man, but I, I don't like his speed, bro. 
So I, I would stay away from this card. Even though they cheat and let the guy stay above, I still want the fastest man corners. You know, like Dre Bly, man to man. Okay, he's more of a, I think he's like 5'10 also, but he has good man coverage, 87, stuff like that. Um, you know, 85 press. Those are huge numbers. So that's the way that we're looking right now. Start taking a look at the prices because they may start to drop inst inst instantaneously and you may not understand why. Troy Vincent is a zone corner, doesn't work for us, okay? Where's Asante Samuel? Okay, he's a zone corner too, so he doesn't work for us either. Even though he's like more of a hybrid as well because he has decent man coverage also. You know, 83 is decent, but I would avoid zone coverage corners, uh, you know, because that's pretty much the meta, having man press, and stuff like that, all right? So take a look at your team, start to see what the prices are, get your coins now, and be ready for the ultimate kickoff coming tomorrow. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. Stay safe. One love, y'all.